Hello amigos, como estan? Welcome back to the channel. Chivas have done it. They've beaten Pumas 4-1 uh, um, in the Repachache. Um, obviously the wild card round weird thing for the Liga. Yeah, um, yeah absolute must win game obviously to get it through to the Liga proper. Uh, well the game was really good. I may not look it. I've been up for almost 21 hours. <laughs> I'm really tired but I'm really, really happy. Um, it's been a great, fantastic um, 12 hours for me, uh, despite the fact that I've worked a night shift, but um, no, it was a good night shift to be fair. So, yeah, it's been a pretty good 12 hours. Um, yeah, so obviously, um, just going to get in the first goal pretty early on within 10 minutes or so, which was really awesome. Um, we allowed them back in though, um, the end of pretty much the second half of the first half and the first half of the second half, if that makes sense. Um, we're all Pumas, really. Um, Chivas were really struggling. Um, the, the only really bad part of the night was obviously Angula getting injured. It maybe even be a broken leg, I've been hearing. Um, definitely uh, tangled with um, Talavera, and Talavera kind of rolled over his leg and didn't look pretty. Um, I'm hoping it's maybe just a strain, maybe it's pulled something, but it could even be a broken leg, so like I said, and so, um, yeah, that's the only downside for this whole, this whole day, to be honest with you, for me, um, but then, oh, then a Beltran's goal, I mean, oh, <laughs> to go 2-1 up, it was an amazing goal, probably one of the best goals I've seen Chiva score for a long time, it was such a good team goal, um, just pinging it around, tiki taka, Barcelona, Arsenal style, um, and then Vega with like a backheeled flick, um, straight into the path of Nene, who basically just runs into the box and slots it home. It was an absolutely, absolutely impeccable goal. I'm going to try and get um, a really uh, short video of that, obviously, in my channel so that you guys can see it because it's, it's so good. It is so good. Um, and then, obviously, JJ Macias comes on and um, doesn't really have much of a good start, to be honest with you. Um, didn't really have much of a good game. I think he was on for the, he was on the pitch for about 20 minutes or so, but um, it took a long time for him to get into the game, but then pops up with a goal. Really good goal. Really easy goal. I mean, he just... I would say it's a tapping, but it wasn't really a tapping. He still had to kind of knock it into the goal. But um, yeah, Perez. I think it was Perez that just basically sweated it to the inside of the box, and he just had to slot it home. And then for three one, that game that was game over really. Um, by that point, Pumas had kind of been killed off, um, and then. Vega, I mean, obviously, getting the assist already for the uh, Nene goal, the second goal, uh, pops up and gets a really, really good goal for the fourth goal. Um, absolutely demolished Pumas in the end, but it was it was shaky for a, a, a fair spell of this game. Um, Pumas, Chivas seemed to be a little bit um, nervy defensively. Um, Jimenez made a couple of really good saves, credit to him. Um wasn't that fault for the goal, I think, you know, um, I can't remember, I think it was a Roscoe, um, our defender got absolutely just bodied, um, really, by uh, the Pumas player who ended up scoring the goal, so when it was 1-1, it was quite shaky a little bit, obviously Pumas were really trying to get the second goal, but obviously, once then his goal went in, it was kind of, that was it, really, um, I was expecting it to finish 2-1, to be honest with you, but then obviously JJ Macias' goal um, was quite um, needed. It was very much needed because obviously uh, she was needed the two-goal cushion just to make sure. Um, and then obviously Vegas goal killed it off, like I said. So, yeah, absolutely really good game. Um, fairly in control, obviously. The Pumas had a bit of a period where they were quite threatening. Chivas had a real wobble. Um, really, from when they when they scored right through to when Angula got injured, that seemed to shake the whole team. To be honest with you, um, lucky I think we we're quite lucky to go to half time nil nil uh, one one sorry, but um, obviously um, came out second half a little bit better, a little bit more cohesive, and then obviously we just once and then his goal went in, we kind of saw out the game so. Yeah, really, really good. Apparently, we have Atlas, Conte, Chivas, Del Norte, 
Joe, uh, Chivas Del Norte, should I say? I can't talk because I'm so tired. Um, we've got Atlas uh, in the next round, which is obviously going to be a fiery encounter. Cross town rivals, um, main rivals, some people would say. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, they're the current title holders as well. I keep forgetting they won the uh, <laughs> the league in the um, Apertura, so um, very strange. But um, yeah, it should be a good game. Um, Chivas, this Chivas team seems to be clicking five wins in a row now uh, from the new coach, Cadena. Can't talk today. I don't know why I can't talk. Um, maybe he should be offered it permanently. Um, for me, obviously, obviously, we wait and see how far we, in this league here we go um, before we start talking about his contract. Um, if you know, if we go deep into it, I think he, the more the more further we go into this league here, the more he earns the right to be the actual full time coach. Um, but so far, so good. I mean, five wins on the bounce is so good. Uh, very strange. I can't remember the last time Chivas went on such a a long winning streak uh, it's been years i think probably a couple of years at least so um, i'm enjoying it i'm buzzing um vegas obviously we knew this contract i was gonna i was tempted to kind of do a video a separate video for that but i thought you know what it's everyone's out there we'll talk about it once we've played this game and going into it quickly i mean you know obviously chivas would make a, a song and a dance and a ceremony about it um but he's uh, he is our best player like, hands down, Nene Beltran, after today, I think, deserves to be in the discussion. But, hands down, Alexis Vega is our best player. And, um, yeah, so, see, him renewing his contract when there was a real threat that he was going to go to Rayados. Um, there was a little bit of a hope that he was going to go to Europe, but obviously that's not going to happen, for, at least for a little while. Um, there's talk about... Um, I think he's come out as well and said, you know, Chivas have said, look, they're going to help me get my European move. The, the, the move to Europe is on the cards and it could happen sooner rather than later. But right now, my, my focus is on Chivas, which is what I want to hear. Um, if he's staying in Mexico, I need him to stay at Chivas. We need him to stay at Chivas. He's got a goal and assist today in four goals. So... Uh, out of four goals, should I say? So yeah, I mean, he's, he's our best player, and you know, we've done really well to keep him uh, um at the team. So, but then about Tran, I mean, I think he deserves to be in Qatar now. Um, he's not just today, not just this game, um, but the fact that you know this season, this whole season, he's been consistently really, really good. Um, bossing our midfield. This, uh, you know, as soon as Molina went, um. He stepped in full time, um, to the point where now we can't even imagine going back in back like three or four months ago when he was a bit part player. He was coming in a little bit here, a little bit there. Now he's one of the main players in the team sheet. So, um, yeah, he's he's really really stepping up now. Beltran, obviously, it's his birthday as well. Um, it's odd. Because technically it's the 9th of May for me. Uh, it's half past 10 in the morning on the 9th. So uh, uh, t technically it's not his birthday for me. But it is because it's his birthday for him. So it's weird. But yeah, to score on his birthday. Obviously the birthday of Chivas as well. The 116th um, annual uh, anniversary. Um, like, couldn't have been perfect. The fact that the player that is the best player of the team that's just re-signed his contract... Um, literally a few days ago, set up the player that's whose birthday it is on the birthday of the club as well, the same day. I mean, that was just poetic. That was just perfect. I mean, you, can, you couldn't have asked for any better. And then obviously for Vega to um, uh, go on and get the fourth goal as well was super sick. And um, this team, bro, at the moment, at the moment, touch wood, um, we are on a good streak. We need to shore, shore up our defence a little bit. We are do we do have defensive wobbles um, here and there throughout the games. Um, so we need to sort that out. Uh, Jimenez is doing fine. I mean, I'm getting, I'm, I'm a, I'm a Gudino fanboy, but Jimenez, you can't fault him. He's doing really well at the moment, so... Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, I'll leave it here for you guys, but um, yeah, I'm just buzzing for it. I'm absolutely pumped for this now. I think, you know, um, I think we drew when we played them last. So, you know, we did, this this Chivas team could beat anyone in this league, in my opinion, on their day. So we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought of the game. Who do you think was the best player? Did you... Do you think that have I missed somebody out that you thought had a really good game? I think Chicote, obviously getting the first goal, he played, he had a really good game. I think he got a yellow card, but he had a really good game. Jimenez had a really good game. Um, who else? Alvarado, I don't think had that much of a good game. Lost the ball a lot. Um, wasn't very good in the attacking third either. Um, just, just. Kept the ball too long. I just don't think he had a good game. But let me know in the comments if you disagree. Um, are you happy about Vegas signing his contract? Are you happy about Nene basically stepping up and becoming the midfielder player that we all knew he was going to be, but it's finally like actually happening? And um, what a player. He looks built as well. I think he's been at the gym because like I saw a video of him going into the stadium, obviously the crowd inside the stadium is like, he looks built, he looks buff. I mean, I don't know whether that's just me, but he looks like he's been in the gym quite a lot. I can remember him being quite uh, quite small, quite skinny, so um, yeah, kudos to him. Uh, obviously that's going to help him with the strength and stuff, so um, yeah, so happy birthday, Beltran. Well done, well played. And uh, yeah, we'll see you um, after the Atlas game. So take it easy, guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Adios.